Hello Pisces and welcome to your love messages for the month of December 2017. This is a general reading so for further messages you can check your Venus Moon and Rising sign videos. If you would like a private reading with me all the information you need is in the description link. I'm also very active on Snapchat so you can add my Snapchat. I will put that on the screen and I will also put that in the description link as well because I am doing quick readings over there if you just want a quick answer to something okay so let's get into your reading so in the past you have wedding the situation involves marriage so they're speaking about someone that you've been very very um um, committed to it could be you know something that you've been in long term it could be something that you were deeply committed to and there was a lot of passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so i feel as though this was like um this was like a relationship or a marriage that had a lot of that had a lot of passion we could be speaking about someone you have a child with here as well with the empress and here we have the magician as well. Okay, so here we have the six of cups. So definitely someone from the past, someone that you cared a lot about. Again, it's someone that you may have children with. Um, I'll speak about the magician in a second. Here we have the king of wands. Here we have the three of swords. So you guys have definitely experienced a lot of heartbreak um, surrounding this relationship. It could be with um, Aries, Lyra, Sagittarius, particularly a Sagittarius here with a temperance. So you guys are going through some kind of healing process, you know. And I feel like um, either you or your partner has a lot of regrets about what's happened in the past. And um, it's like they want to move forward. They want to take some kind of action. But I feel like they're kind of afraid with the magician here and with the two of wands. Um what I'm feeling with this is that someone does want to move forward, but I feel like, you know, they're kind of regretful and I feel like they don't know how, even though they may try. I feel like they're not sure how to move forward, okay? It could be, um, you know, that someone tried to come back and, you know, reconcile something, but, um, you know, someone was turned away. So either you was turn, turned away or you turn someone else away and either you or the other person was left feeling like this because there's so much history between you and this person again um, it could be someone that you have kids with it could be a fire sign in particular but it doesn't have to be that sign it doesn't have to be a Aries Leo Sagittarius so in your present you have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Ten of Pentacles and we have the Sun. Okay, so I feel like you guys, um, you know, you are honestly feeling really, really trapped. Like, these two cards together this is horrible i feel like you guys are not sure where you stand with somebody you're not sure what's going on with somebody um and i feel like again in the past some of you are feeling you know um a little bit of regret over something or your part or, um, or your partner or your ex-partner is feeling regret over something you know you could be grieving over um you know losing a relationship that you cared about so this is literally just a mental prison i feel like there's a lot going on mentally for you right now um pisces you know and i feel like it's really really difficult but the way to deal with it is to here with the sun this is bringing everything to light just bring all of this to light okay and have that conversation with somebody and it's going to make you feel so much better i feel that very strongly for you guys and then once you do that you can move forward to the ten of pentacles energy and i love this energy because it's all about um, um stability so you know i feel like financially you guys are doing fine right now um for most of you and i feel like in in your jobs in your in your careers for um you know most of you it's going well i feel like so that's what I'm seeing. But in terms of love and relationship, um, something is really on your mind. Okay. Um, yeah, and that's very, very strong. So here we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and give your relationship a chance. So 
throughout December there's a new job there's money coming in I see you guys working a lot now I know this is a love reading but your careers come up so it could be that you're not spending time with someone as much as what you like because you've just got a new job or because um you're working a lot okay and you're trying to um you know increase your income so that's what um, I feel like so here we have the lovers. So there is love coming in for you in the month of December. So this is soulmate, twin flame energy. So I'm going to leave this there because I love that card. And I feel like 2017 has not been a good year for Pisces. So, um, you know, I'm kind of glad that we're starting, well, that we're ending 2017 in the lovers energy, which is a soulmate connection. Okay, so here we have the moon. So this speaks about you, Pisces. Um, here we have the six of swords. So, okay, we have the ten of cups as well. We have the devil. So for some of you, this is a Capricorn. And for some of you, we have the seven of swords. So for those of you that are dealing with a Capricorn, I think I said this to another sign as well. Um, Earth signs are kind of not sure where they are at the moment. So um, I wouldn't rush into anything with an Earth sign just to protect yourselves, okay? Because I'm not really liking these um, energies here. So if you are dealing with a Capricorn, in particular please be careful i'm not saying that they're a bad person or anything like that i just want you just to be a little bit extra guarded okay pisces because um i you know i really don't want you to get hurt so please be careful um but then on the other hand they're saying give your relationship a chance so um maybe you feel or think that you know someone is going to do this to you so it's you know, I know it's a bit conflicting. Um, it could be someone else that that comes in and it's a soulmate energy and you kind of have that intuitive knowing with the moon. This um it's all about the sub the subconscious. So you guys may have options and it's all about listening to your intuition to work out who this um lover is if you have options and that is the person you need to give a chance to. So in your overall energy, you have new love. So there is someone new coming in for you. Okay, so um, this could be what they're, what they're speaking about. Um, give your relationship a chance. Again, if it is a Capricorn, I would be a little bit guarded. Okay, um, it's not to bash them or anything like that. It's all about protecting yourself. So don't rush into anything with a earth sign throughout the month of December. Okay, so here we have the Ten of Swords. So if you guys, you know, um, yeah, so there's a lot a lot to do with work here. You guys are working too much. You're financially successful. It's paying off, definitely. But don't exhaust yourself, okay, because the Ten of Swords is, is exhaustion. And along with the Ten of Wands as well, it's, again, it's, it's exhaustion. You need to get balance between work life and home life throughout the month of December, Pisces, okay? Because um, if you're working too much, it's just literally draining you. So here we have the High Priestess. Again, it speaks about listening to your intuition, having that inner knowing. So what do you feel about this new love? What do you feel their intentions are? People's intentions have been coming up a lot for um, all the signs throughout the month of December. So um again listen to your intuition pay attention to any dreams things like that that you might have and just listen to to your gut instinct you are a water sign so you guys have excellent intuition so please listen to that so here we have in your um where you're heading you have you have codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life so here we have the hermit so there could be um there could be conflict around someone having some kind of addiction or possibly um so this could be anything it could literally be like a alcohol um substance addiction um emotional addictions even sexual addictions anything it could be that maybe someone is um dependent on you okay and you do have the um what's it, devil as well so it could be that if you're dealing with someone that does have an have an addiction 
you need to kind of just stay away from them throughout the month of December, okay? Um, and this is why you have the Hermit, which is here. I saw that. So here we have the um, Hermit. So for some of you, it's dealing with a Virgo. Um, it could be a third party situation where, um, you know, someone could have, have an ex or... Um, something on the scene that you know is kind of dependent on them or they're kind of dependent on someone else but either way um, I feel like you need to really look at the situation what I like about justice here this can represent a, um, a Libra coming in for you but what I like about justice is that you know um, Lady Justice sits on this throne and she has this deep insight into situations and this sword represents truth and the scales represent her knowledge of knowing how to balance things out. So if you're dealing with an addiction Pisces or if your partner is, I feel like they're spending time alone and they're actually dealing with it. Um, with the three of cups here as well i'm actually picking up that it's more of an alcohol addiction again take what resonates with you this might not resonate with you but this message could be for somebody that watches this um i feel like they're spending time alone and trying to actually balance out this um addiction that they may have but it's you know it is going to be a bit of a battle it could cause arguments so um if you were your partner do enjoy um, a drink please be careful because it could cause um, arguments is what I'm seeing again it's Christmas so I'm not saying don't drink I'm just saying please be careful um, so in your overall energy um, sorry so in your environment you have worth waiting for a divine time and is at work in your love life so for those of you that are single you have a soulmate twin flame coming in. You do have a lot of love. You could be hearing from somebody as well. Somebody could be coming to see you. You could be going to see someone else. So it's really, really positive for you. Um, so here we have the six of wands. We have the ace of wands. And here we have the three of wands. Okay, so now movement finally. Finally, okay. So um, we had the two of wands. So you go from two where someone's indecisive about something to this to the six and the three of wands where someone's actually recognized what they need to do and they've recognized you Pisces and now they've actually um they're actually now in the right situation to move forward. Again, this represents travel, so I feel like you you could be travelling throughout December. Um, someone could be travelling to see you and there's a new spark in a relationship. For those of you um, that are completely single, you could be meeting someone and there's just this spark, you know, so it's really, really positive. So, yeah, there's new love, there's um, soulmates, there's movement, there's travel, there's communication. So, finally, things are picking up. So... In your hopes and fears, you have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay, so in your hopes and fears, you had the King of Pentacles. So it's like I was saying about Earth signs. Please be careful. Someone is in two minds about something. You've got the Tower, which is things not built on a stable foundation. Petty arguments. Earth sign. Please be careful with Earth signs, Taurus. Um, why did I say Taurus? Maybe some of you are dealing with a Taurus. Please, please be careful with earth signs, Pisces, okay? Because I feel like they they are really going through something um, right now and it's kind of messed their energy up a little bit. So, um, you know, if you are dating a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, just kind of take it slow and, and wait for the energy to kind of shift before you make any kind of decisions, okay? So just throughout the month of December, it's not a permanent thing. Just please be a little bit careful. So in your outcome, you have play, um, playfulness. You have the seven of pentacles. So a lot of you could be getting money and spending money and things like that. You know, you've put in a lot of hard work and you're waiting for things to pay off. It definitely will. It definitely will. You have lots of cards that signify, um, you know, you working hard and it paying off. You've got the ten and the nine of pentacles. So... Any work that you do, it will definitely pay off for you for the month of December. 
and here we have the two of cups so you know this is the outcome for you soulmate happy equal relationships what you feel for this person they feel for you it's balanced it is a divine union again it can be the resurgence of a relationship some of you could be finding out that you're pregnant as well you have the lovers um even oh you've got the empress in your past um but i feel as though some of you could be finding out that you're pregnant okay um here we have fire energy it was leo sagittarius so some of you could be spending time with a fire sign throughout december so it is a really really positive reading the only thing i can see is if you're dealing with a taurus like a capricorn just just take your time okay and if there is um any kind of any kind of addiction or or um or um dependency issues that's going on throughout the month of December. There could be some arguments about it, but it's going to balance out. Okay, this person spending time on their own so they can actually deal with their issues. So that won't resonate with all of you, but that will resonate with some of you. So just take that into account. So um it's going to be a magical December for you guys you know give love a chance you have a soulmate twin flame coming in you're going to be spending time with um you know someone that you love so yeah it is really really positive okay so I hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas and have a brilliant December and I will see you in the new year for January's reading bye Pisces